So I've been busy. I want to show you what I've been up to in the underground vault, making this a little more homey, cleaning things up. Okay, so it's a lot. It's a lot that's kind of changed, but not really when I take a look at it and show you all the little things I've been keeping busy, as you can see. My name is Brian Saviano Brick. So, Brian, what I've done in the underground vault over here is uh, make it a little more homey and make it basically uh, taking the foundations of what was done and uh, expanding upon it so that way resources are plenty. So, a lot of off camera just planting seeds and harvesting trees and blah, 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 blah. So I named the chicken that was once in solitude, now is no more because we have a couple chickens. Uh, the first chicken's name is Kadoodle. Kakadoodle doo. Kadoodle doo. You get it? Chickens. And now we got a lot of them. So it was going to be impossible to name that chicken because we didn't have a name tag and still don't. So. Any one of these could be the chicken. I don't know. Uh, chickens are basically going to be wandering uh, everywhere at this point, other than what's inside of here. They're going to be lurking all around. And ideally for the underground vault, I have an area where there's like chickens, obviously, where they're like, you know, they can't really go anywhere. But then I want chickens to actually like roam around the whole area or the, the animals in general, just to make it seem like there's a bit more life to the underground vault. I don't want it to be just me all the time everywhere. You know, I want to have other entities around that are not hostile so that's the idea i made a giant farm over here because i needed food and i needed food reliably that wasn't obviously chicken and it was just a matter of finding water getting dirt you know all of this so this is all down toward here now this can change it will change eventually but for right now this is a really solid farm so once i'm done like exploring a given area come back here harvest everything it's all good the issue with doing this underground is that there's no light. So I have to have like a lighting system like this, basically, because if there's no torch in this area, it basically won't spawn in um, like it won't grow. So there has to be a light source relatively close to all of the wheat, which is why there's like a light right here. So if I remove this and these seeds will pop up and they won't actually register. So that's why that is. Um, I also cleaned up all of the stalag, whatever stalactites, stalagmites that were all throughout here. Basically, this entire floor was pointy before, and it really cleans up the whole area, as you can tell. But now, it, it, it you know, looks great. A little bit of bamboo, a couple trees, and I made a little home over here for me. Literally, just that. For, for the sake of being able to um, go into the bed, if I really need to, and, um, and sleep. So, before I go out and explore, I want to I wanna actually get a lot of resources. Um, I mined up all of the resources that were basically in here and up basically toward where we were before. So up there was a bunch of copper, got all of that, but I haven't actually explored and gone beyond this really, uh, this area. I've been going here, grabbing chickens, seeds and all that, letting the trees plant and all that. One of the things I wanna show you is actually the, the fast leaves thing. So if you looked in the mods folder when I was uh, showing you all the, mod, all the mods, right? There was fast leaves, which basically meant that the leaves would go away a lot quicker because when you mine down a tree, the leaves stay around for quite some time. So I've done that, and I just want to show you how quickly these leaves actually go with this little mod. So you can see the leaves are, like, obviously right in here. So I get rid of this final block up here, right? And then... Wow. Nothing. And the reason is because it's probably connected to this one. So... I have to, oh wait, no, there we go. You saw it go a little bit here. Actually, okay, once I get rid of this one, then you'll see just how fast it goes, all right? We get rid of this and boop. See how quickly all the leaves just like fell? <laughs> all the leaves fell super quickly, which is great because you're not left with these giant bundles of leaves hanging around everywhere that'll get in your way and make it super obnoxious to actually mine anything up. So uh, that's basically what I've been doing all throughout here. Um. I don't have any coal at all, so I've been, like, smelting down a lot of these logs and using those for charcoal, but I need to find actual coal. I think at this point I can also find diamonds if I really wanted to, so I think that's a realistic thing for me to do. I also need to make armor. I have all this iron, and I haven't made any armor at all because I didn't think that would be fair to put myself up with an entire uh, iron armor while off camera. So I'm going to do that basically right now. 
and I almost have a full set on me, which is wonderful. I like how this, um, where is it here? F5? Yeah, I like that armor set. It actually doesn't block out my eyes, which is kind of cool. Looks like Doom armor because it looks like kind of rotten flesh with the uh, iron. It's a little morbid, but anyways. So now I can go off and explore and do whatever. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, diamonds are definitely... Okay, all right. If that's how you really feel, sure. Uh, <laughs> cool. Is that how you really feel? All right. Yeah, so diamonds are uh, on the menu. And I haven't actually gone over toward this way, so I don't know what's down toward here. I've mined up some things occasionally, but not a ton of things. So if I find something spicy, that'll be great. And I have no torches to, to actually put down here. So you know what? Before I even do this, for the sake of you being able to see, I'm going to go back up here and make some charcoal. So charcoal, actually, I, I got to go this way. Always get confused. I'm like, wait, which way am I going? Why am I going this way? You know? Um, okay. Okay. I get it. Stop. And stone. There we go. All right. So stone is still viable right now. Um, but yeah. So I don't know what way I want everything to expand. It's going to take me a little bit of time to figure out the direction I want everything to go in. But for now, I'm going to just leave everything as it is. So hopefully you've been having a good day. I am, uh... Having a little bit of coffee. It's a it's a Sunday afternoon at the time that I'm recording this. It is uh, Valentine's Day tomorrow, in which I'm going to be uh, eating a pint of Ben and Jerry's and reflecting on my poor life choices and uh, existing. So that's basically my plan for the day. It's also Super Bowl Sunday today, which is a thing if you enjoy football. I'm a, I'm a moderate football fan, so I will be watching a little bit, but nothing to... Uh, Nothing too impressive otherwise, you know? All right, so we got these torches here. Um, I really like how these torches actually animate. And I know the other ones kind of animate as well. They have a little bit of, like, movement with the flames, but not... Diamonds are forever. Throw your diamonds in the sky. Throw your singular diamond in the sky if you feel the vibe. Diamonds up. Just one? Really? Come on. Could have done better. Wait, hold on. That's a little sus. Is there anything around here? Really? Just the one? Wow, look at that. Just a, just a little tease. Just a little itty bitty tease is all it is. Jeez, all right. So I guess I got to go into the thick of it even further and maybe find some diamonds in here. This world generation is s really interesting. It's like a very tight crevice down toward here. Man, is there actually anything down here? I would hope so. Uh, and I feel like this is going to be... Wow, there's nothing down here. Uh, yeah. Almost, basically, yeah, nothing. Wow. All right, so that's cool. I just wasted all my torches, too. You got to love that one, right? So... Yeah, I feel like exploring these caves is basically going to be my main way of finding new resources. Like, strip mining is interesting to an extent, but it doesn't take me nearly as far as I want it to. And I feel like that's, um, no, that's not a torch. I thought that was like a light source over there that I could actually find, but it's not. Okay, cool. Am I going anywhere productive? I mean, I got iron. Great. But there's a whole other area I can actually be in instead of over here. But yeah, exploring caves seems to be a lot more eventful than going strip mining. And especially because the, with the thing that I didn't realize was strip mining. Now, especially with this sort of, uh, this, this sort of way of going about it, you can't go super fast. I mean, I mean, you can go super fast. You gotta have enchanted stuff. But like, to strip mine now, having all the stuff that you did previously, like, it, it just takes an extra amount of effort to go through and mine up all that stuff, you know? So I don't know if deep slate um, strip mining is going to be what I want to do. It could be something I do off camera, but also I feel like that's a little disingenuous for what I would want to convey. So I don't know what exactly I want to do. Obviously, one diamond does not help me at all, and I need to have way more than eight torches to make this thing happen. So luckily there's a good like area for me to go through, right? I could go through here, down toward this way, which I feel like this way 
is going to be the most uh, profitable, at least as of right now. So I'm going to go toward that way. These chickens are, like, staying relatively close to the spawn, which is kind of cool, you know? Ideally, like I said before, there would be a whole giant area, giant vault that is all relatively contained so the, the chickens do not go super far astray. Just to keep it, like, lively, you know? I don't, I don't want to be alone down here in the vault. And obviously, I could have other people joining me, but for the sake of this being a single-player world, I don't want to just have the the one person it being me down here. So I think 28 is good for now. Got a little bit of iron, and now this is where it's going to get spicy, all right? Um, wow, this is pretty expansive. Ooh, ooh, there's um an Enderman over there. Actually, I kind of I kind of low key kind of low key need that Enderman. So hold on. What if I go right here, right? What if I do this? Hey buddy, Look into my eyes. Oh, you look super terrifying with that texture pack. So this is the way that you get ender pearls, right? So as long as you have a too tall area right above you, and it's it's a pretty secure area like this, you can attract the endermen toward you, and then you can slice them just like this. And then the reason I'm doing this is because I want to get the ender pearls so that way I can eventually find the end, which will not be an easy task by any measure, especially being entirely underground. It's going to be almost near impossible for me to do so, but, you know, we'll see. There's our first Ender Pearl of the playthrough. Gotta love that. I'm going to actually toss these two into here. I'm going to take that uh, pickaxe. There we go. Actually, a lot of this stuff I can put away at this point. I don't really need it right this second. I'm going to make some more bread just in case I'm off on an adventure for much longer than I think. And now I'm ready to rock and roll. So, yeah, as long as you have a little area like that, you can lead the Enderman over to an area, whatever area. Oh, geez. Okay, if that's how you feel. Don't feel that way. Yep. Get back. Um, you basically have a little bit of buffer room, too, while you're doing the, um, the sword slicing as well. Actually, you know what I should do? I should not do this. I gotta do an actual iron sword at this point. Stone sword is not cutting it, buddy. You are out. All right. Iron. Where's my iron? Iron. Iron? Can I not see the ingot? I don't know where the- where's the ingot? Am I blind? Did I use all of it? There's no way I used all of it, right? No. Oh, it's right- well, I got- I got raw iron right here. Alright, I mean... Fair. Okay. So that's fine. So I just need two of them. It's all good. Listen, everything's fine. I'm not losing my composure. Everything is okay. We're all gonna be okay. Actually, I'm gonna grab these sticks over here. Don't need to do anything else. It's gonna be just fine, all right? We're all gonna be good. I'm gonna take these, take these, there we go. All right, sword, now I'm ready to rock and roll, at least for right now. So now that I'm well equipped, because like I can't get bombarded like that with a bunch of zombies, right? Literally just cannot allow that to happen. Uh, this looks like the area where I would eventually expand into. It's a much more massively open area than I was anticipating. And it looks very fit for, like, just placing stuff underground. Oh, yeah, especially, like, all the way down here. Oh, yeah, look at all this. Beautiful. Beautiful looking area. I love it. And now landing on those stalactites and all that down... What is... Oh, it's the lighting that's glitched out. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, seeing all the stalactites makes it a lot more cave-like, which I'm very much so a fan of, you know? Just makes it feel... Wow, this is, yeah, this is a big cave system through here. All right, cool. Well, luckily, there's all sorts of coal and uh, other resources I'll need. Now, I don't know what else I want to do in the, in the intermediate. I'm basically in the stage of accumulating a lot of resources just for the sake of having them, especially, like, coal. Like, that's the thing when you're playing Minecraft and you're like, oh... I want to make all these farms and automate all this stuff, but, like, you need all these resources in the very beginning to make sure you're surviving, you know? Before you can thrive, you must survive, which is the quote of the day when it comes to all this and, you know, having coal energy underground is definitely going to be the call. Can't, cannot have any solar energy, that's for sure, which I feel like that could also be something Minecraft adds eventually, is solar energy. That'd be kind of cool, you know? with uh, how much coal they use in the game for all these different things that are craftable, right? 
That could actually be something. I'm surprised they don't do that. Because Minecraft usually takes a lot of pride in being like, oh, well, we're going to include animals that are, you know, near extinction so that awareness is raised for them and all that. But then still using coal energy by comparison. It's just uh, interesting, I guess. Uh, I'm also noticing there's a lot of copper all throughout here. And the copper is relatively useless-ish. It's kind of useless, especially in the underground, I think. So you can't make any armor with it. And the main thing that I, I remember seeing is that you can use it as like a spyglass. You can also use it for a lightning rod, which a lightning rod is not something we're going to need because we're underground. So I have all this copper basically everywhere. I have stacks upon stacks of copper. Even me just getting rid of the copper that was in my, my relative survival area, like I showed you before, there's a lot of copper. So I'm assuming a lot of these veins that are around here, these are all going to be copper veins. So there's going to be a ton. So in the Bob SMP series that I did, a very short-lived series because we did so much, but basically I harvested a bunch of copper in, in like a farm situation. And I wanted to make like this statue of basically my skin in Minecraft. Now that's something I'm going to do, I guess with all the copper that I have here, I've always wanted to do it. I just haven't done it. And now that I have all this, uh, an obnoxious amount of copper, it, it kind of makes sense for me to want to do that. If I still wanted to, which I do just for the sake of making a statue, I guess. So in one of the areas that are going to be Around here, there will be a giant monument to my honor to satisfy my ego. That'll happen eventually. Not, not, uh, not anytime soon, because not only do I need a ton of copper, like a lot more than what I have right now, but also I need to have wax in order to iodize the copper, which basically means it'll preserve the state of which the copper is in. So in order for me to convey the different, um, like the different shades of... That was weird. Um, the different shades of the copper that I would need, I need to wrap it in basically what would be uh, from the bees. And it's certainly going to be a very long time before I go back up to the surface and find uh, a beehive and bring them back all the way down here and make a nice area for the bees, which is obviously going to be very important for me to do because you know I love the bees. Big fan of the bees, all right? There's another... What is that? What is that? Oh, it's an enchanted bow. I'm like, wait. What is that, like, like morphing purple thing? That's not an enderman. What is that? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is where I die. Hold on. There we go. All right, as long as I healed a little bit there, then I'm good. Now, what you cannot do in this version of the game is you can't basically bounce back the, um, the bow, which is kind of disappointing. There we go. Just got to heal him back up. Can you hit that zombie? No? Come on. Yeah, hit the zombie. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Well, what I really wanted the skeleton to do was hit the zombie so the zombie would go aggro on the skeleton, but that clearly didn't happen. Ooh. Got a power one bow. Gotta love that. Nice. I'm sure that's going to be super valuable. Great. Uh, that is not the surface. It's just a whole bunch of lava. Nice. Anything through here? No. So yeah, eventually all of this area I could totally see being lit up and looking real, real good. It's just a very wide open chasm. It's very nice. Uh, what else do I need right in this moment right here? Probably some uh, more coal. I have plenty, actually. Yes. Plenty of this. Oh, I can make a whole bunch more torches. Yes. Look at all those stacks of torches. Beautiful. That's basically what this is all going to be. And that that's really the appeal of me doing the underground here. Like, other people, I'm sure, have done an underground survival before. But now that the caves are so expansive, it makes it that much more plausible to make happen and I don't even know what my objective list is going to be yet I haven't done any of that like in my 101 things to do in Minecraft series I basically went through and I marked down all the different types of things that I could do that would be beneficial for me to do as like an objective and I haven't done that yet for this series eventually I probably will but I knew that the very beginning parts like this were going to be pretty consistent with what you know I would need to do in Minecraft anyways 
you know, light up all the areas, establish a little home, all that. Uh, but figuring out, like, a, a smaller base of operations is going to be another challenge for me. And luckily, not a ton of monsters are spawning. I mean, these guys are over here, right? Oh, that's bad, actually. I need to not do that. I need to make sure that I heal up properly. Um, also, I don't need gunpowder, I don't think. Is that the surface? No. No way. Um, okay. I'm like, anytime I see, like, relatively, like, outside a light, I'm like, wait. There's no way. But yeah, not quite. Do this. There we go. As long as you have a shield, you're good, basically. All right. So I got all this iron. I, I still need to find those other two diamonds, man. Not that I'm itching to get to the nether at all, like even a little bit, but it is something to keep in mind. So now that I have all this, I'm going to basically figure out what more supplies I can find relatively easily. That, that does look like the surface. It looks like a lot of, uh, you know, open air. I don't even know where, like, I was. Ooh, I can go down there? Ooh. The possibilities are endless. Let me first, let me uh, harvest up this iron and then find my way back to the home-ish. The, the home kind of area. Not, doesn't feel like home yet. All right, so now I'm back over here. I actually want to see what my progress was on the farm over here. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So that's the benefit of going out on adventures and just seeing what is out there, is that you can just not have your mind focused on, like, the things that you need to be. Um, I'm also kind of glad that I have all this coal, so that way I can smelt down all of this egregious amount of copper that I have. I mean, look at all this copper, dude. Like, I have almost a full stack of copper, and I haven't even, like, left, like, the main area. Like, that was, that was even before I had all the other little bits that were everywhere. So, anyways, uh, I just want to show you, I want to show you this again. Look at how satisfying this is. With the trees... And having the fast tree leaves thing, look at all that. Bam, now it's gone. Oh, it's wonderful. It's so good. Okay, so I'm going to plant all these. And basically, yeah, I'm going to be doing some other stuff. But I, I don't want to necessarily go off and, like, harvest all of the materials in that area over there. But clearly, that's going to be kind of the way to go. And eventually, I want to make, like, something a bit more refined. So for, like, a, a housing area for this and the chickens and all that, because obviously... This small area of chickens is not going to cut it long term. And now that I have plenty of eggs, I have a full stack of eggs in here, right? I can just toss out chicken eggs and I can basically get two or three per stack, which is awesome. And eventually, um, all of these chickens are going to lag up the whole area over here. So I got to find a more permanent housing for those chickens. I guess they're very much so still here. They're just hanging out, man. They're just meowing it out. So I'm going to swap out all of these seeds and replant everything hopefully you've been enjoying this series i have been enjoying playing it and getting the gist of what i need to do down here it's very exciting so thank you for so much for tuning in next time i see you i'm gonna figure out um kind of a maybe i'll figure out like a the base get like a main base established i mean i have all this but it seems a little disjointed for what i want to do with it so yeah and then the bamboo is gonna grow cool not that I need bamboo for anything, except uh, actually rafters, right? Actually, yeah. So I, I probably should be replanting this. Oh, well. I, I'm so far behind, but that's fine. Can I replant these right here? No, totally not, right? Yeah, I need, I need dirt. Give me some dirt right here. Yeah, there we go. Luckily, bamboo grows so fast. Uh, and that is actually the case in real life as well. Bamboo goes, uh, grows obscenely fast. So let's see. I'm going to plant this over here. I don't actually know if bamboo needs light, but I'm going to give it light anyways. We'll do this, right? Have a nice little three by three area of all this bamboo, and it's going to grow right inside of here. Yeah. All right. So now you saw me do this. Let's see how fast the bamboo grows by the next time I start recording. Until then, have a great day. Oh, look at that. It just grew a little bit. Nice. <laughs>